Hi Pisces, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of June the 19th to the 26th, 2017. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos on YouTube with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week cannot apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So I welcome you to go there and push that button and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule a private appointment with me either for a private reading or a Reiki session treatment. We start our week Pisces on Monday with an Earth card and you have been given the Ace of Earth. And Earth cards have to do with the beginnings of all things and all suits. And this is telling me that this is going to be the beginning of an inflow of abundance coming into some of you. I do see it in the form of money. I do see it as an increase in income. I do see money building up now in your bank account. And this will be a promising business venture that you are going to be receiving this abundance from. Because I also see some of you signing important documents and contracts. The Emperor for Tuesday, Pisces, major card. This is all about you now being organized and, and logical and structured and disciplined and knowing that you can step up and be a leader, okay? This is all about you taking on that role and I do see it in any projects you're working on for some of you and or your place of employment for others. Crowning your week on Wednesday, Pisces, you've been given an air card and this is the five of air. And air cards have to do with the injustice that people bring into our lives and having to make fair and just decisions and choices that are determined around these individuals. Also, I do see it has to do with people dealing with lawyers and courts, the legal system itself. I do see there's a choice that some of you are going to be faced to make. And you need to learn what you can from this situation and review everybody's motives because if you don't, they refer to this choice as being an unwise choice. On Thursday, Pisces, you've been given the Seven of Water. And this, again, is a relationship card. And this is telling me that there's a complex decision that you have to make that is uh, being influenced by a person in your life that you feel quite closely connected to. And I do look at this as a relationship. You have the need to do some research. You may have some suspicions about this individual. You may be uncomfortable. There may be something that you need to find out. Do it. Stop procrastinating. Pisces on Friday, the Queen of Fire. And fire cards have to do with setting our creative juices in motion and maybe taking risks we wouldn't normally take and going places we wouldn't normally go because it is about our own personal um, you know, self-development. I do see now that Pisces, you've come into your own and now you can stretch your wings and fly, fly solo, fly independent and don't underestimate yourself. You can deal with this and handle this now. You need to assert your own independence and your own creativity now. On Saturday, another water card, the three of water. And this is telling me that there's going to be a celebration coming in and an activity and an event. And it may be in the form of a wedding, a graduation, the birth of a baby, that type of a happy occasion. And it shows me that you need to have fun and you're going to be receiving uh, either an invitation to participate in that. You may be a, a major role in that or you may be getting an invitation to go as a guest. The dreamer at the end of the week on Sunday Pisces and this is telling me that you're able now to take a leap of faith because you're coming up with some creative solutions and there's going to be some unexpected opportunities that are going to help you make your dreams manifest and come true. You now can follow your dreams. Okay, so I want you to know Pisces that you can approach any uh, challenges right now and be optimistic about them. At the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one Ascended Master's Oracle card and Pisces. Surprise, surprise, they gave you health and healing. So, um, Pisces are comprised of all the signs on the zodiac, as you know. And one of the, our strongest traits is sensitivity. And often we become healers, we become empathic, we, come, we become uh, very, very conscious of those around us that need help and healing. So this talks about some of you Pisces getting involved in health and healing. Perhaps it's going to be a whole new modality, a whole new career, 
a whole new uh, a whole new adventure on your path for you. I do see some holistic healers coming out. I do see some actually going and uh, and becoming um, Western medical uh, professionals. So please, please enjoy your life because you are an innate healer and have that ability to transcend that to others. I wish you a great remainder to today, Pisces, and a wonderful, optimistic week to look forward to again. I leave you with this quote today. Focus on the journey, not the destination. Joy is not found in finishing an activity, but actually participating and doing it. See you again next week, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in that circle of life for you, Pisces.